Hello everybody, this is uh, Michael M.A. Today I'd like to show you uh, a little bit about these brand new T-Lock sustainers, um, how they're going to be used, how they are built and uh, some of the details, some of the features. It's not, um, not very comprehensive but hopefully gives you a good overview and some information <coughs> about um, how they are made and how they are um, handled. So uh, let me just, uh, in the beginning, um, Take the top one. I, uh, <coughs> that's my cat. <laughs> she always wants to talk with me. So um, this is um, uh, the T-Lock sustainer on top, and uh, I unlock it now from the lower one, so I can just remove it by lifting it in the front and pulling it to me. So uh, let's have a closer look <coughs> at some of the inventions and. Um, as you have seen, this green part <laughs> in the front, it's called the T-lock, uh, can be turned in any direction. has simply um, three different um, locations, so where I can put it. So uh, if this, uh, this tip is looking down, it's locked. If I have one on top of it, I can interlock it by connecting this notch in here with that, or the screw with that notch in here. And if I turn it um, 180 degree, I can open the sustainer. We we'll just put it in the other hand. So, like this. Now we have a look inside <coughs> and we see some of the um, uh, many reinforcements they made over here uh, in, the, in the rear side, on the side. And uh, mostly in the lid, the lid is the most important part because this one is taking the weight <coughs> of uh, the sustainers. And so uh, um, Festool and Tarnos, they use the cat cam methods to um, relieve the strains in here and put uh, reinforcements where required. And uh <coughs> it looks like a pretty good pretty good job because it's very very sturdy you can you know there's no way to bend it if you have it in your hand uh, it's a very uh, very robust and sturdy part <coughs> so the interlock mechanism to the other T-Lock sustainer is um, uh, made out of these groove behind the barrel uh, the grip so if you look uh, we just hold it a little bit different so you can see that right now you see all these reinforcements in here. This is uh, to form this groove. And uh, if I turn it upside down, there is a two small uh, notches over here. Actually, they are <laughs> pretty large, uh, and so they are, I would say, an inch in width, one yeah, one and a quarter inch, <coughs> and uh, they are on both sides um, of. Um, um, of the rear side and so that's the, the interconnection mechanism. It's also the foot for the for the device and it's um, um, fairly great in, in uh, um, <coughs> comparison to the to the older one. Let me just <coughs> take uh, uh, the older sustainer in, uh, in direct relationship so you see this uh, there were two very small notches which could easily be scratched off but they didn't have a function okay so now this one has a function but it's well protected because it's underneath uh, the surface which has to um, take the load you know the the <coughs> connection will take take place in here and not not here so this uh, very well made um, also good um, thing is a uh, nice feature is now you have um, uh, a place where you can put your cards your um, 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 business cards in here uh, Festool already had um, one two and on the side labeled with um, their machine type and serial number and stuff like that but uh, you could also take your credit card or put uh, your own cards in here they have the same format um, but only on this side there is a, a plastic sheet to cover your business card if you want so um, <coughs> this is uh, something um, they also made okay 
So, yeah, now it has a very nice logo on the top. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, after all, the, the, the look and feel and the handling uh, is much more appealing than on the old, let's say, <laughs> called box. <laughs> It's a little bit more rounded and soft line, so it's uh, yeah, it's nice to handle. And uh, and the very good uh, feature is uh, <coughs> what I want to show you right now, um, because you only need one hand to open it, and um, if it's connected like this, you could hold it. If I need to go into the lower one, I simply turn <coughs> this uh, T lock to the other position. And can oops, and can open it. So <laughs> that's the the nice and easy way for the future to um, <coughs> to get to the parts which are right in in between any of those ten sustainers. <laughs> it was a nightmare in the past, yeah, but this is now gone. So this is a very nice thing. <coughs> so to connect it, uh, I just turn it this way, and then I can lift it without problems and if I want to disconnect the upper one from the lower one I simply turn it this way and now I can just lift it and pull and then I have it in my hand there you have it nice thing so um, also some some colleagues um, uh, had um, <coughs> the question if uh, Old cystaders would fit. Well, I have uh, I've done some tests. At least the cystaders from the last two or three years. This is now from IT15. Okay, so which does not have these small notch in the front, but it it fits after all fine without problems. Just in here. So and um, I can easily close the lid, so there is no. Nothing to do, no pressure. After all, it fits very nicely. So, and I did the same test with my Carvix, works well. And um, well, I did it <laughs> with the LS130, uh, that linear sander. <coughs> and this is one of those um, in inlays which um, <coughs> uh, is much deeper than the, the newer one, and that doesn't fit. So, and maybe I have to have to, have to cut it or whatever. But the uh, most important thing is uh, those sustainers from the last two or three years, they will fit perfectly. Okay, so uh, let me now show you how to disconnect the news from the old one. Um, <coughs> since there is no way to put your finger in here, in the front, um, it's easy to put it at the rear. So you just open the rear <coughs> and then <coughs> you just push it to the back. And then you can just easily lift it away, so no problem at all. Okay, so in the same in reverse, in order to connect it, lift the flats, and uh, and off it go. So pretty easy. Well, um, <coughs> one drawback is uh, that you cannot put the new T locks anywhere in the stack, so you, they have always to be on top of the classics, and um, therefore this is maybe. A small drawback, but uh, after all, uh, this new functionality um, pays off uh, and saves lots of time <laughs> and grief and lots of fingernails as well. You know, so I don't know how often I broke mine, um, even yeah, just when the when the sustainers were uh, brand new. So hopefully, I covered <coughs> uh, all important um, uh, things in that uh, short video introduction. Um, and uh, yeah, hope you like it and have some good information out of it. Um, yeah, have a good time now, and uh, yeah, see you by soon. <coughs>